I've been doing webinars for 25 years. I've been using Zoom for about two years. That was the first time that ever happened to me. Okay. It's always a first for something. But let me tell you about Cyber Trade University really quick. And then, um, and please, I am going to be interacting with you. I'm going to be asking a lot of questions. Um, and I want you guys to have some fun. I'm going to do some poll questions. So I'm going to do a lot of good stuff here to teach you about trading. But let me just tell you about Cyber Trade University. So you're like, you're not hearing the next, you know, person out there like to pound his chest and say, I'm the best and I make a lot of money and look at my YouTube, look at I made 24 gazillion dollars today. And hey, look at me, you know, that's, listen, I'm not an egotistical guy. Maybe when I was like 22, 24 years old, I am, I'm 49 right now. I've been doing this for 25 years. I don't really need to do that. I don't think anyone likes that. And if you are, I'm definitely not the wolf of Wall Street person you're looking for. So I'm not the right fit, but I can tell you what I did learn. Back then, when I learned how to trade, um, I thought I knew how to trade. I was licensed. I lived here in New York. I was trained by the best traders in the world. But when I originally first stepped foot in a professional trading room, I realized that everything I was doing was completely wrong. It was the opposite of everything I was done. You know, reading the paper. And listen, everyone probably say, oh, I can figure this out. I watch TV, see what's happening. Maybe I could, let me tell you, you know, and I know it's not that easy. Now today with the internet, oh, I'll just watch a couple of YouTube videos. I'll just subscribe to this guy's, you know, newsletter. Listen, if it was that easy, everyone would be a gazillionaire. You know, it's not that easy. You have to learn how to think for yourself. You need to know what tools you need. And you know, it, it, it's a business. It's a business. Not to bore you with that, but I just want you to understand that I was you 25 years ago. And what happened back then when I started um, we didn't pay for training. It actually was free, but you had to work for somebody and you had to split the profit. So I think that kind of stunk, <laughs> right? So what happened, I was actually, uh, within six months, I was about, basically I was making a lot of money within two years. I was semi-retired. So by the age of 24, 25 I was already semi-retired trading, but 25 year old is not healthy to be retired. Right? So um, but I was more of an entrepreneur. I wanted to learn how to expand my business and I wanted to go on my own because I didn't like splitting the profits back then. So because I had a lot of good friends on wall street, they always, people I work for, they told me, he says, listen, Fausto, and this is very important because I think everybody has to realize this. If you're looking to learn how to trade, they said, listen, you want to learn how to you, once you walk out that door, you're going to leave all this camaraderie. And I worked in a trading room where there was about three, 400 traders. You're going to, you're going to miss Michael and John and Leslie and Liz, you know, um, all these great traders, you're leaving a hospital to try to start your own practice and that's okay, but you got to find people to work within your practice to, to succeed. So the only way I could do that is I started cyber trade university. I had to go out there, teach people how to trade where I was learned and then make you part of my trading room so we could trade together. So that's why I'm here today. What I'm here to do today is I'm going to teach you exactly the art of trading. And then most importantly, hopefully that some of you will be qualified because I'm going to give every one of you a application fee and we're going to see if you really qualify to be part of the team. And listen, <laughs> people are like, what? Qualified? They don't do that somewhere else. You know what? That's why you'll find out I don't have two, 300 traders in my room, two, 3,000 traders in my room. I could have them. I don't want them. Doesn't make me money. Doesn't make you money. Not everybody here qualifies to trade. Um, and hopefully by today, we'll figure that out. Okay. So let's move on and let's talk about Cyber Trade University. So why are you here? Only one reason to make money. You're not here to see like Fausto and you know, the cyber traders and what's your stuff. No, no, listen, all kidding aside, you know why you're here. You're here to make money. And you know what? You shouldn't care who the person is. You know, you shouldn't care how friendly or brash they are. You want to find somebody that's going to teach you the art of trading. That's about it. So the first thing you have to ask yourself is this, who really train you? So what I want to do right now is I want to do a poll question. All right which is very important. Um, you're probably seeing a little pop-up window on the right. Okay. Coming up. Could you guys just tell me, are you self-taught? 
Do you took paid courses? Um, do you have a coach or a mentor that you're working with? Let me just really quick. I want to see where everybody is at here. Like we always say, don't be shy answering the polls. You know, it's so funny. I still haven't got called on a poll question for the presidency. Well, guess now here's your opportunity to do a poll with everyone else and see how you fit in there. Okay. All right. So let me end the poll. I'm going to share the results. So everybody knows where everybody, where everyone is. All right. So it looks like we got about, uh, about 63% of you, um, took paid courses, which is great. Wow. You know, that's pretty high actually. Um, 61% of you depending, you know, did not take it. looks like we're almost about a tie. We're pretty much there. So listen, that's okay. Right. Um, I don't need to convince you the ones that took paid courses. You probably still probably haven't found the right person yet. And by the way, it does take about three or four people of, you know, training courses to take before you find the right guy. And if you're self-taught, welcome. Hopefully it will be your last time <laughs> that to look around. So anyway, to be a good trader, you have to surround yourself with people that are successful at it. Now look at this photograph. The big thing about this is you'll probably notice that everybody in there probably looks like you. Okay. Um, you know, they're, they're regular, ordinary people, web designers, doctors, engineers, car salesmen, um, uh, oil workers. I'm just looking at the list and tell you who they are. Uh, software developers, professors at colleges, you know, accountants. They're just like you guys. Okay. And they all realize it that they want to go out there and they want to know how to make money in this in this market but they got to know how to play the game so the thing is this can i see you trade no okay there's no such thing of fake trades whatever it is you have to follow them that's what it's all about so there's a couple of stocks that we traded and i want to show you what i mean i don't by the way did anyone trade the stock apvo anybody see the stock on tuesday i don't know is anybody here it went from 230, ran from 750 to 11 bucks. Anybody saw the stock? Nobody saw the stock. Were you too stuck on Facebook? Looking at, oh, what's Facebook doing? Oh, what's Tesla options doing? Ooh. Oh, what's my penny stock doing? What's the next penny stock? What's the next uh, cryptocurrency stock? No one traded. That's you know what? That's okay because it not only did it go to 11 dollars, but then yesterday it went from 10 to 20. So you do the math, 750, 11 to 20. How do you, how do we find these stocks like this? Where do they come from? Well, that's what I'm going to teach you. I'm going to show you guys how to find them and why they keep going up. And that's what it comes down to. Um, so the thing is this. Trading is a game. And you got to know how to play the game. And you got to know exactly what's going up, what's going down, who's running it, who's not. Once you think you know something about the stock market, you're going to lose. It's not about what you think. It's what the street thinks. So when it comes to trading, everybody, like I just mentioned earlier, I just care about making money. Okay. I don't look at the company. I don't look at P ratios. I don't look at book values. I don't look at indicators. Okay. What I look at is net change. Remember, I'm here to make money, but to make money, you have to risk the least amount of money for the high amount of reward. There are 25,000 stocks out there. You can't trade them all, but what we do every morning at Cyber Trade University, which all of you are going to be invited to, every morning at 9 a.m., we do a live broadcast on YouTube, but you'll also get in the trading room at all day long, and we'll scan this market. We'll find the ones that will give us the best opportunity to make the most amount of money. Now, as a day trader, which is what I am, day traders only focus on a day's pay. We're not looking to hit Grand Slam home runs. We're not caring about the company, what it does. All we care about is, is there momentum in the stock? Am I going to make my day's pay? Boom, game over. I get to sleep at night. I'm going to worry about what's happening with the election. Is, is Trump going to win? Is Biden going to win? Is it going to be a Senate? Is it not going to be? Is, it, is there going to be another coronavirus? Is there going to be, you know, uh, is there going to be another war? Whatever it is. I mean, unfortunately, catastrophes make opportunities.